highlights coming up and we'll hear from Hearts manager Paolo Sergio. So let's start at Tyne Castle, an amazing game and Paul Mitchell watched it. Referee Steve McLean gets us underway here at Tyne Castle. Hearts in a good run of form and beaten in five. Lost only one goal in that time and that was an own goal. Saints come here without a win since they beat Rangers on Christmas Eve. Here's Andy Webster. Hooks it long. Elliot will head up. And towards Scatchel. John Sutton getting his chance here this afternoon. Robinson brings the ball inside. Turned by by Lee Mayer. An early corner for Hearts. A very bright start. Ian Black's corner. Zaliukas is broken away. And Marius Zaliukas helps himself to a simple goal. 52 seconds on the clock, his marker lost him, and Marius Saliukas with a very simple task to knock it past Craig Sampson. Kenny McLean chips it through, McGowan's made a run, he's in behind the defence, McGowan goes through, referee says penalty, and if that's a penalty, Marius Saliukas is off. The referee goes for the back pocket, Marius Saliukas will take his time, and his last involvement in the match is to take down Paul McGowan. Great ball through from Kenny McLean. Must have just been the merest to touches here from Zaliukas. Caught the back of Paul McGowan. McGowan himself takes the penalty. And Paul McGowan equalises. A sixth goal of the season. That's a good penalty. Didn't give Marion Keller a chance. Barry Teal moving forward. Dan Barden at left back. Pushes it away. Stephen Elliott. Great tempo to the game. Submarin come forward again, but Gosling sends it in the middle. Thompson attacks it, and Stephen Thompson has scored. 18 minutes gone, Submarin, who were a goal down, have come from behind. Marovic didn't attack it, and Thompson looked the header over Marion Kello. It's a really good header. Ian Black plays it in for Hearts. So let's try and turn it away. Scatchel with a nudge in the back. Comes down to Rudy Scatchel. What a goal! He is so capable of doing things like this, Rudy Scatchel. But was there a push on Graham Carey? Carey expected the foul. Scatchel continued. And he's big bang, nestled in the corner. What a match this has been. So better come forward again. Carey fisted away by Marion Kello. Stephen Thompson thinks this should be a corner. But it is going to be a goal kick. And Sergio is really dull with his heart side at the moment. Sergio watches on. Comes back onto Scatcho. Rudy Scatcho calls it. Hearts have gone ahead. They've been dominated by Simbaran in the second half. But the throw in, which was won after Barron conceded, allowed Hearts to get the ball down. Rudy Scatcho curls it into the corner. Well, Simbaran are shell shot here. Sutton. Sends it forward, hooked away. Hearts pressing again. A double from Rudy Scatcho. It's given Hearts the lead. Barron up against Black. Black's been tenacious. It's on to Rudy Scatcho. Scatcho moving forward. Still going, Rudy Scatcho. He could shoot. He has! Rudy Scatcho gets his second hat trick as a Hearts played against St. Millen. A 10 man Hearts are 4 2 ahead. Black was persistent, Rudy Scatchel regained his balance and cut the shot across himself. Craig Sampson won't be happy at this. Absolutely incredible game. And Danny Lennon must be wondering how his side of 4-2 down. They dominated the start of the second half. Can they make it 4-3 here? Teal, Thompson shouted for it. But it's up and over the top. And St Mullen's frustrations continue. Stretching the ten men this time. Gary Teal clipped it back. Thompson couldn't trouble Marion Keller. Hamill onto a Boer. That's flipped inside. Tesla brought it down. Sampson gathers. That could be a pass back, and the referee says yes. Sampson was caught by Rudy Scatchel afterwards, but it was a pass back. And Hearts have a chance for a fifth. Seven on the line, plus the goalkeeper, Ian Black. Stop, starts on to John Sutton. 
That's it, five in time, Castle, despite being down to ten men. And the goal scorer with a minute to play is John Sutton. He's deserved us for all he's played this afternoon. He's set up goals, but he gets one here himself. Were you worried, Paolo, when you were 2-1 down and uh, Marius sent, sent off? Yes, in that moment, uh, you are thinking that everything can happen. But uh, very focused in what we have to do to change, uh, to change the situation. We, are, uh, we have to, to, to change all the strategy, all the position in, on the pitch. So find solutions to, to fight for the result. It's possible, it's not the first time that happens, that uh, the team with um, one man down wins the game. So in that moment, I was very focused on speaking with my assistants and what we're going to do to try to, to, to change this situation for us. Is that something you can practice, being down to, to yes, 10 men? Yes, of course. We have that preoccupation. Uh, sometimes we are training with one man down, sometimes two with, um, with one man up to, to create situations that happens in the games. Rudy Scatchell uh, is a special player, isn't he? It was a, it was a terrific hat-trick, three, three left foot strikes all from outside the penalty box. Yes, no doubt, and uh, I can tell you that he is doing this every single day in training. Uh, he has a uh, capacity to, to shoot, a fantastic capacity. One of maybe my, my best player that I ever coach uh, shooting, shooting the ball on, on the goal. He has this capacity. Uh, and does and he, that, he obviously likes playing against St Mirren because <laughs> this was a hat-trick against them from 15 months ago. Yes, and, and I accept that uh, Today, of course, we have to speak about Rudy because he, he made a fantastic job for the team. But not just because of the goals he scored. I'm very pleased because uh, the, the goals everybody can see. But uh, the defensive work, the responsibility that he picks, uh, defending very well and uh, supporting John in front uh, all the time. It's a great, great job, fantastic job he made yesterday, not just for the goals, but all, all, all together. So, uh, it's easy to see and talk about a player. I never like to do that. I, 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 what allowed Rudy to score three goals, it's the job that everybody does on the pitch during 95 minutes. And it's for all the boys, even for those ones that didn't play yesterday, that uh, all the credit should go. Of course, we have to speak about Rudy, uh, because three fantastic goals, we have to speak about him. But for me, football, it's every, always about the group, about the team not about one, one player. His contract is up in two weeks' time. Uh, can you keep him for the rest of the season? I think so. We want to keep him, I want to keep him. And uh, after I talk with him, he wants to stay too. So sometimes uh, we can read uh, lots of things in the newspapers because it's your job to put those kind of notice. But I believe Rudy will, will stay with us. Now, you weren't happy about the yellow card shown to Ian Black uh, in yesterday's oh, game. Yes. He, he tri but he, he tried to trip the player, didn't he? OK, but he didn't. Uh, you can see the player is still playing uh, and uh, in, in, he doesn't arrive to make a fault. So I think it's too much to pick a yellow card like this. And I, I, I was very angry with that because this, this yellow card takes uh, Ian Black from the, the, an important game for us, Celtic game. And... Uh, Maybe Blackie is paying because some a kind of reputation that he has. But if, if it happens right now, that doesn't allow me to do my job and trying to change the situation. Uh, try to change him. Try to change him. And I think uh, he's improving a lot. Last five, five, six games, he doesn't pick a yellow card. So he's very focused on football. And uh, I really believe that Ian Blackie can be very useful for the national team of Scotland. So why put a reputation on the player when I'm trying to change these kind of things? It's very hard for me and it's very hard for him too. He find it unfair. Um, we, I was angry with that, but uh, the referee talked with me. Uh, it was fantastic uh, when he came and talked with me just because I was screaming, why, why, why? <laughs> Um, I, I have to accept, I respect, uh, but I believe it was a mistake that he, he did yesterday. And it's too hard for us because we're going to lose him, Ian Blackie, in a very important game. In a, and the, the very good players should be on these kind of games and he's going to be out. And I'm, I'm uh, sad with that. You said Ian Black's been, been good in the last uh, half dozen games. You've, you've had a great run of results, haven't you? With 
lots of things happening off the pitch which could be distracting you from, from the main thing, but, but look at those results uh, and, and some of the performances of late, and that's you up to third place in the league now. Yes, I'm not, I'm not too concerned about that third place, uh, and uh, I know that uh, St. Johnson and Motherwell, they, they have uh, played less games than us, um, but I'm not concerned about that. I, what I can say about that is two moments. Uh, when, when our problems start three months ago, we were in a very good moment, uh, improving a lot. We beat Celtic at home, we went to Dunfermline to win uh, the game. And uh, we lose Rangers 2-0 at home, but I believe we should win that game. We play very well against Rangers at home. But in, in that moment, things start, the problems start to be heavy and heavy every, every day. And the first impact of all that pro those problems um, was very hard to deal, to deal with that. Uh, try to put the things together, people believing that things can change in the future. So we take some time to react. Um, I, now we have the same problems, but uh, I think we, we learn we learn to deal with the problem, and uh, the results uh, start coming after that. So, uh, some, do, you, do, you ever, do you ever know what's going to happen next as Hearts manager? No, we never know. I, I I'm positive. I, I'm always being positive, and I believe that the people that are. Uh, uh, managing hearts are responsible people and they, they, they know that they have to put things in place. Uh, sometimes I, I, I read in the, in, the, in the newspapers that uh, lots of people think that this hard situation uh, maybe helps to put the pe uh, people together to, to now to, to have this kind of results. And uh, I can't agree with that. The situation, it's bad, period. The way we deal with that makes the difference. Sometimes even that credit, the people want to take that from us, from the group, from the players, from the, the, the technical staff, from the people that works uh, uh, with us every single day. It's, it's our credit to have results. Uh, in, meanwhile, we are living these kinds of problems. It's not the situation, it's bad. And we can you, we can say nothing different about that. How, how much how much could the squad change? Do you think uh, by the end of January? Are you are you worried about January and what it might mean to the squad? Yeah, for me as as manager of the club, uh, it's a, a, a very very tough month. For me, January is like is ninety days <laughs> because never ends. Um, I believe we can lose. Well, two or three players till the end of the month. I don't know, in the moment, people can come with the money and, and leave the players uh, because we need to sell. Everybody knows that. Um, but what people have to know too, it, we need to sell, but we don't gonna give the players for anybody. So we need to sell because we need money. Uh, we don't need to, to sell because we don't like the players. You won't be giving them away for free? Of course. Uh, sometimes people, maybe they are thinking that they will come in the last day of the, of the transfer window and uh, with uh, small money and pick the player they, they want. It's not going to happen like that. No chance. No chance. Fran Sandazzo.